You want to go home? You want to go to Coney Island? Playing like you want to go home? Now listen, let me ask you guys a question. If we were, let's say we were in Coney Island, and somebody came, and you were with two or three of your buddies, and somebody came and they jumped one of your buddies, what would you do? You'd help them, right? That's what you're supposed to do in a basketball court. If one of your teammates is in trouble, getting his ass kicked by a double team, that's what you guys do sometimes. You just stand there and watch your friends get their ass kicked. Friends don't do that. You help them. You help them. by Notre Dame right now. Okay, what's the way we work all this time to come out here and play like a bunch of dogs? All I want, just play your balls off. That's all. Nothing more. Nothing left. Come on. Let's go. St. John's kind of out of rhythm on both ends of the floor. You guys have no idea how good you guys can be. But you guys got to play. You're playing for us, for each other, and for yourselves. Right now, you guys aren't even playing for yourselves. There isn't anything really positive that I can say about tonight. Nothing. Because you weren't here. None of you. Not a one of you were here tonight. I don't know what mirror you're looking in, but whatever mirror you're looking in, the mirror's lying. Okay. Talk, thanks a lot. Okay. The first order of business is, as you noticed, is one gentleman who's not here. He's in Baltimore with his family. His grandmother passed away yesterday, uh, and that's Marcus. He'll be back either, he should be back tonight all I can tell you is this, in my left pocket, I got a very gracious NCAA speech. In my right pocket, I have a very gracious uh, acceptance to the NIT. Okay? I hope it's the left pocket that we'll use today. He's at the Big Ten Championship. So now, we begin the proceedings, beginning in the East. The eighth seed in the East is Wisconsin, one of the Big Ten's four co-champions during the season, against number nine seed... Going to Washington. You've got some pretty good roots there, don't you? Well, I've got a lot more than that. I've got a, I will have, by the time we get there, my, our first grandchild, uh, my grandson, waiting for us. Because uh, my daughter Dana is uh, ready to deliver within the next 12 to 20 to 48 hours. So it's a blessing going to Washington. <laughs> chapter has been written and this particular chapter is now closed what I want to happen is I want for that last moment that last minute on the court to be as positive as possible I want to be able to look them in the eye and say great effort I want them to really feel good about what they just did we'll be back here Sunday it's the journey and it's not necessarily the destination. And with these kids, you know, this is just the beginning of their journey.
We are. Say no. Yeah. All right. All right. Come on. ESPN, next on the block, the sharpest wits in sports go head-to-head. -head. Pardon the interruption. This mask doesn't come off. At 9.30, Sports Century 1988. Let's score! Then at 10, an all-new sidelines, L.A. Hoops. We got a second tone right from the start now, okay? PTI next, Sports Century 1988 at 9.30, and sidelines, L.A. Hoops at 10. The block continues on ESPN.